Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to tell you about the ways to find new music uh, in the framework of our BFC Green sessions. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that today we will speak about some general ways and tools, but we could concentrate on some specific things uh, during our future BFC Green sessions. Uh, and now you could see the list of uh, ways to find the music that I usually use. Most of them, as you see, are very classic. For example, uh, music festivals or original soundtracks. I mean that uh, everyone has his own favorite films and uh, favorite songs from them. Or, of course, uh, our friends uh, could recommend us some music if we have the same tastes. Uh, nevertheless, I will tell you about some of these ways in details. Uh, for example, uh, online radio is a very good and useful source of new music and I guess uh, everyone could find online radio stations which broadcast uh, music in particular genres. Uh, here you could see some examples of channels which I usually listen to. Most of them are from the United States and only Cardio Wave Radio is from Odessa, from Ukraine. Uh, also in this case, uh, please pay attention to Shoutcast Radio because uh, it's not a classic online radio station. It's more like uh, an aggregator where you can find uh, a lot of online radio stations around the world. That's why I hope everyone will uh, find something. And also, in this case, please uh, look at Summer Fan Farm. Uh, here you could find a lot of podcasts for every taste and uh, especially it will be useful for people who are interested in electronic music. Uh, as for the main music media, I have uh, prepared a short list of uh, world famous media uh, which could be used uh, like a guide in the world of modern music. Uh, but of course, it would be great uh, to read some regional sources. Uh, that's why in the end of this list, you could find some uh, Russian-speaking sources uh, for CIS countries, which I have been reading for many years, for example. And uh, I guess it would be great for everyone to read some regional sources because it's a great opportunity to know about to know more about uh, musicians in your country or in neighbor countries. Uh, Last FM is my favorite source of uh, new music, and uh, I think we could prepare another presentation for everyone who would like to use this tool. Uh, uh, in short, you just listen your listen to your favorite music, and the service provides recommendations. Uh, I mean, the list of recommended artists which could be interesting for you. Uh, in this case, you have to install Lastfm Scrubber and uh, just listen to the music which you have on your computer. Or on the other hand, you could uh, visit the pages of musicians which you uh, listen to on Last FM. Uh, but as for me, the, the main function of the service for me is uh, online radio, because, uh, for example, the service analyzes your tastes and could provide um, a special online radio for you, which will uh, contain your favorite tracks and. Uh, some recommended tricks. Uh, when it comes to social networks, we could just recognize that uh, the main thing is to follow special channels or accounts about music uh, which you are interested in. 
I guess uh, today the source could be more useful than classic old media because it's faster and uh, permit us to know about new artists before journalists. And uh, uh, in this slide you could see some uh, recommendations how to use some popular uh, social networks. For example, uh, as we said earlier, YouTube is uh, a good thing to create playlists uh, and uh, share this with share them with your friends, etc. Uh, using of uh, music streaming services. Uh, depends on your devices, but the main scheme is uh, the same everywhere. Uh, the services provide all updates about your favorite artists, I and mean, new tracks, new albums, uh, and uh, could recommend uh, similar music analyzing your tastes. Uh, but of course, uh, uh, the services are foremost. The services are foremost shops for buying new tracks in a legal way. Uh, I think it's better to devote uh, another session to this topic. Uh, in general, uh, that's all for today. And uh, in the end, it's recalled that in many cases, um, the best music is what you could accidentally hear. But for this, uh, Nevertheless, we have to create opportunities. And uh, I hope today, during our short session, you have known about uh, some of them. Uh, thank you for your time and for your attention. Uh, I would be pleased to answer any question regarding our topic. And also, please feel free to contact me about um, any recommendations of new music and to us how to find this. Thank you very much, Andre. Um, it was really very interesting. But uh, maybe one question for me: I'm completely new starter with music. I, I do mm -hmm. not have uh, like for the beginners. I would say, mm -hmm. what would you recommend? Just uh, what I do sometimes, like in what what I have a problem, like sometimes in YouTube I found like was one song and after that, so I jump to another song. How to create maybe your personal list or, or what tool uh -huh. you would recommend? Yes. Uh, in this case, uh, you have to prepare a list of your favorite tracks and analyze <laughs> the title uh, and analyze uh, the artists which uh, perform these tracks and uh, you have to put the name the names of these artists on last fm and in this case for example you could know about many similar artists and in this way you could discover a lot of new music or for example uh, if you prefer to use uh, youtube you could um, look at the right corner of your screen and here you could see uh, some the list of similar tracks from the similar artists but in general i would like to recommend last fm because it's very suitable and comfortable <laughs> sources for beginners yes uh can you show from your screen how it works yes can you go with uh, your screen to as, as for last fm right yes Okay, one, one minute. Uh, I cannot see your screen. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yes, now I can. Uh, last uh, one. Yes. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, here is the search, and in this case, for example, we we write something like the Beatles. and. Uh, here you could see the the page of this band. Um, and here you could uh, just use this button, play similar artists. Or, for example, you could see some artists here. 
Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not a good <laughs> example because uh, all Beatles are associated with, with the yeah, participants. Well. And how you create your, or if you like, like some song, and uh, how you create your personal list, how you do it? Uh, uh, on on YouTube, you mean? Or just for example, yes. Okay. Like uh, like uh, different songs, different artists. How how you do it in practice? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case, you have to. Uh, You have to enter your account on YouTube. Ah, okay. And uh, uh, can I describe it in words? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Or maybe it will be better to devote this stuff devote YouTube to other topic to other session because it's uh, a huge topic to, to discuss uh, I mean creating of playlists and sharing ah okay it could be possible maybe next week uh, until yes, if, uh, or something the, yes to speak about this like YouTube and how to create your personal list yes, yes. if somebody has a question somebody has other question to Andre please yes Yes, Andre, can you go back to your presentation? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, and to the um, last uh, slide when you put number eight, yes, I have uh, tips how I uh, how you can um, uh, go with such uh, um, idea yes when you mm -hmm. uh suddenly um accidentally hear music do you uh, when and you like it i usually use uh sound hound or um or uh i don't remember the next one um uh app on my yes phone and oh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. um it's really really very easy to use it so when I'm uh, somewhere in the restaurant or in the car and I heard the music uh, on the fam accidentally, I just used uh, this um, app and mm -hmm. it saved in my um, history, yes, and then when I go uh, home, I could uh, um, find it in different sources and add to my mm -hmm. um, um, playlist. Yes, it's very useful. Yes. <laughs> So thank you, Tamara, for recollecting of you. You mean uh, Shazam, right? Shazam or Soundhound? Yes, mm -hmm. I ra I like uh, Soundhound more. It's uh, mm -hmm. free and uh, have more uh, opportunities, I think. Yes, it's very useful nowadays. Uh, any any other questions? I sent the same links. Yes, I wanted to say the same that uh, Shazam mm -hmm. and SoundCloud are very good. This. Yes, but as far as I understood, uh, Shazam depends on uh, the particular base of music which uh, it could uh, define. Um, what do you mean? But you huh? you think that uh, it couldn't find all um, music? Yes, it, yes, of course it could uh -huh. couldn't find all music, but depends on maybe uh, the Apple base. Or Google Base. Uh, I think it will find 99% of the music. Yeah. Yes, that's so. Yeah. And, and as for um, Android platform, and mm -hmm. as for, don't know if it uh, work, if it works on iPhone or not. But as for Android, I, I usually use uh, Zaitsev Net um, application. Zaitsev mm -hmm. Net. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, you can easily download music from um, that website um, always. Is it, and, is and it, for is it free. legal? No, I, I don't think that <laughs> it's very legal, but uh, it works. <laughs> it actually works, and it's very easy to download, to sort it in the application, to mm -hmm. make some playlist. So. If we speak about not downloading, but listening to, we could use some legal services like. Uh, Yandex Music, for example, and uh, the service provides a good quality of sound and uh, no troubles with law in all countries, I guess.
Yeah, I would also like to add a few words. Uh, uh, I don't think like uh, that nowadays uh, you really need to download this music and to have it uh, on your computer when you can just store it somewhere. Like, I mean, it uh, can be stored uh, by this service for you, and most of us has uh, most of us has the internet uh, on their devices, on smartphones or tablets, or actually on the computer, and we can make playlists uh, with the music that is uh, located not on our computer and have access to it uh, at uh, any time. Uh, basically, uh, we don't need to uh, buy a hard copy like a CD or a vinyl if somebody still buys it. And there are uh, a lot of uh, services uh, that uh, are free of charge or you can pay uh, like to not have advertisement uh, like $40 or something like this. So there are from Android or from Apple or yeah, like Yandex uh, music that uh, Andre mentioned before. And in uh, Europe, uh, uh, I think it's popular uh, Spotify. Uh, okay. where you can make your own playlists and uh, the service also makes the recommendations for you so you can find some artists you never heard about and that actually uh, you will like it because uh, it's based on uh, uh, your favorite music. Yes, this is like uh, a main scheme for many services which pro provide an opportunity to listen to music online. Uh, may I ask you to give me um, uh, this? Uh, don't know how how does it mean? Uh, uh, like uh, that I can be a presenter, yeah. And uh, I will show you my screen. I would like to share how I store my books. And, uh, <laughs> I'm using. Yeah. Just one second. Uh, share screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, well, um, I found for myself uh, Google Books, and uh, I uh, didn't use this service. But uh, for the last three or four months, I, I, I very, uh, I really love it, and uh, I would recommend it uh, for as for books and as for music. I'm looking for uh, a similar service, but I. Uh, haven't managed to find so, but uh, if you will um, find uh, one, please share. But as for Google Play, uh, Google Books, yeah, and uh, you may see that um, I uploaded um, a number of books. I haven't purchased it, but uh, I have found it uh, in the internet and just uploaded PDF or EPUB um, formats to uh, my library here and. Uh, it, sh it is shared only with me and uh, on, on the um, accessible by me, but um, I like it uh, very much because I always have uh, the same books and the same um, documents um, on all my devices, uh, on my laptop, on my uh, Android phone when I open a book uh, and I always open it at the same page um, that I um, was reading last time, and um, and I have no problems. I think with uh, legal uh, like legal problems because uh, nobody see um, this my library. It's only for me, but on all my devices and all the books are uh, in the cloud, and it's very um, useful. I think. Yeah. And if you are using Google Books, you can also try to use Google Music then. Uh, I was trying, but I, <laughs> yeah, I didn't manage to understand how it works. And it, you can also uh, upload your music to the uh, phon phon phonotech. Yeah, do you think so? And have it, uh, yeah, and have access uh, uh, on your phone or computer. I'm not sure. I, I, I think I, I was trying, but I didn't manage. Maybe I was. And here you see the second uh, upload yes. up to 50,000 tracks. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. We'll try this one. But I really like it because it, it's mine and it's on the cloud and uh, nobody see and uh, only <laughs> positive tides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I guess that uh, Google Play is suitable for mobile devices if we speak about uh, saving music. I mean, not for uh, no computers, but mostly for mobile devices. No, it's fine also in browser. It's uh, it's not only for smartphones. Yeah, I see an option. So it's uh, it's it's an option to store your music yeah, and to sort it into playlists. The same as for books. Yes. So um, I have many many questions to all your comments. Very simple questions. Yes. And I thought about really maybe uh, we need to plan some individual coaching because I really <laughs> is an extremely beginner. <laughs> Just do not uh, take time of other advanced people. Maybe, uh, like, uh, I will try to contact your individual, Marina, Alexandra, Andrea, and just to arrange something individual coaching, maybe 10 minutes, just if you can help me to start with uh, this is, uh, play Google Play My Book, because it's extremely hot topic of my, like, in my appraisal for 2017. And also, uh, some useful YouTube videos or music. This is really the question: how how to better be organized? Yes, and with education, I feel that I will be really uh, very motivated to learn from you, and I hope we will find time. Yes, and the great like individual coaching because it's really many many simple questions about where to start and. <laughs> So, and you see, maybe some other people at BC have no idea, I'm sure, Michael also, we are, we are just not advanced in these tools, and I believe it's time really to learn it and to use it, yes, for archiving of documents and so. And Tamara helped me a lot uh, for accounting, to improve the accounting apps and tools, and I think this year is time to use it for books, for videos. Uh, I'm really extremely motivated now, very powerful after the holidays <laughs> to learn more. Okay, any other questions or like specific questions or exchange? Uh, I guess we could uh, tell about some specific tools uh, during our future sessions because it's very huge topics. It's very yes. huge topics. Uh, and maybe, uh, like, uh, again, to uh, people who participate or who has not managed to participate, we would say about the idea is to use 30 minutes every Thursday and just try to give people uh, opportunity to coach other people or just uh, exchange some information who is using which tools and so on. And this is about, like, education in the group. And after that, if some topic will be law, like for some people more deep, or for me personally, really, I need some more additional coaching, like individual coaching, and uh, it could be possible to agree to any free time and just to, uh, to like, develop themselves, like personal development, some specific topic, and I would, I'm sure it's in the BC, we have many people who can share their knowledge and their practices, and uh, this could be very useful. Uh, for this exchange, and at the same time, uh, maybe we can develop some products in the future for external, our clients and so about online learning or education, and I believe in mentoring, about like a small group coaching, learning exchange, and also about some uh, really small groups and one-to-one. Um, -one questions answers. I also want to ask uh, everybody who participate today, you shared a lot of internet links, but I have not caught them. Yes, if you can just post it on the Facebook uh, in our green portal, BC Green, uh, and uh, maybe um, just the names of the platforms or these apps, what you have discussed, you have discussed about two, three different apps. I have not just caught the names. Yes, if you maybe to send it to Andre or Andre, you make like a follow up on your patient for sound mm -hmm. uh, cluster, live cluster, 
and I would also say uh, we will maybe after that to discuss internally who would like to next to present what's the next section on Thursday and maybe how to organize if somebody would love to share for example Alexander you about books how you organize your library or Marina about recipes just really we need to find some maybe platform where we can just put the events or people like everybody will be sick and really suggest your topics or also external just for each Thursday. Just we can organize some flexible way and at the same time, I believe, motivate or just motivate this exchange between the BC to our favorite topics. Yes, not only like <laughs> the day-to-day -day business topic, this is the idea, because favorite topic, I believe, is they are so powerf powerful and they bring, they, they give BC creativity, which we are very famous in consultant world. I believe this is extremely important for business and I'm very thank you to everybody of you that you have participated today and uh, supported this project and especially for Andre, yes, that you uh, took the leadership, your first presentation, thank you very much, it was done thank great you, and thank you very much for supporting this initiative and uh, this project. I believe this helped everybody of us to follow our dreams and our passion. <laughs> So um, we have two minutes more. If somebody wants to say, if not, we will close the session. So. <laughs> what I can share with you, actually, I can share how to use uh, <laughs> your internet browser in a, uh, a bit more secured way. <laughs> and oh, to interesting, interesting, Alexander. Yes, and obtain some more privacy in the internet using uh, VPN services or something like that. <laughs> great, great. And I would love also to, we have a very interesting expert from a security company in Switzerland and also in Moscow. And maybe we can also try to invite external guests and we can see and say, oh, it's okay or it's not okay. This would be also, I believe, very advantage uh, for you, Alexander. Yes, if we do some presentations. Yes, especially about musician. My question is also about musician. Uh, for example, playing instrument. Which one instrument uh, go to each other? And we can also invite some musician just to make it uh, more interesting. Yes, uh, I believe this could be also. Or just send our recorded session. If somebody cannot participate, they can always share with our contacts and at the same time to get opinion and maybe to have also some discussion on Facebook. Yes at the time it's convenient. Thank you very much for your ideas and for your time. And we have punctual 30 minutes at maximum what we can speak. Yes, we, we will, have one minute left. Yes, <laughs> we can close the session. But at the same time, I'm really so happy to hear you in this year. And I wish everybody a happy new year and uh, health and uh, especially dream. Dream a lot and feel, and I wish that all your dreams will <laughs> fill out this year. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for being with us and uh, till next Thursday. And um, so thank you very much for, and please provide with your ideas, your topics, and we will try to do something interesting inside of BC. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye bye.